Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. I'm starting to build my IBM Guardian Lab. Recently, um, I'm working on IBM Guardian project, and uh, now I'm building a lab at home. I'm trying to use my VMware workstation to do that. Um, first thing, I want to check the system requirement and the support platform. You should be able to see version 11.2, which is the latest one requirement here. Check out the hardware and the virtual machine requirement. Here is the CPU, memory, and the hard drive requirement for the virtual machine and the physical machine. Virtual machine, you need a minimum four C virtual CPUs. Um, minimum 24 gigabytes RAM, one NIC card, one gigabit. Um, disk size it will be minimum 300 gigabyte. 7200 RPM for the speed. Um, my lab environment is uh, more than enough for this, so I'm gonna start to work on creating a new virtual machine. Uh, Linux Red Hat version 7, 64 bit. Eleven, I'm gonna change it to my D drive. Make a new folder. Next. So disk size will be 300 gigabyte. Then customize the hardware. First in memory, of course, you need much more, 24 gigabytes. Processor would be this will be twenty-four. I'm gonna use two processors with each one has four cores. And I don't need a USB, I don't need a sound card, I don't need a printer. I would like to use in bridge the network. Finish it. Let's power on the device. We need to assign a CD ROM using the ISO image, which I copied before. Now saving the configurations. We're going to give it to reboot. Okay, there's a couple of selections here. Uh, we are going to do the standard installation. If you want to install it for aggregator or central manager, you may want to go to third one. But for this lab, I'm going to just use standard installation. After that menu selection, so all will be automatically. You don't even need to stay in here to do some interaction with the installation wizard. There's no selection for you. All will be pre-programmed. All selection will be standard. You will see those options, what they do in the screen, but you don't have to type anything there. The total installation 
time will be around 20 to 30 minutes depending on your speed or hard drive speed, CPU speed then you will get a um, prompt for login so right now it's starting the installer So as you can see, it's not asking you anything for VNC because of its automated install. So you will see the software selection here. It's all been pre-configured in the installation package. Once you select the standard installation. So here is all selections pre-configured for you. There's a no interaction here you just need to wait stop the recording right now and we'll come back once it's done
Once you added the all license, just like I did here, IBM Security Guardian Central Manager and Aggregate Pack, Data Protection for Database, Vulnerability Assessment for Database, after you add the all licenses, then the left panel gonna shows up. You can see there's a manager, there's discover, harden, investigate, protect, comply, report, dashboard, and applications. That is all for today's video. Thank you for watching.